Shabbat Shalom, everyone. So, uh, for those of you who don't know Magen David Adom, I'll speak about it in a minute. But standing here in this Shabbat, I feel obliged to share one of my most uh, important, important moments uh, at life. Where you're, I was one of Magen David Adom delegates to Haiti after the devastating earthquake. And we were uh, deployed in one of the field hospitals right in the center of Port-au-Prince. And in the first morning, I'm, I'm there, I'm waking up, there are hundreds of people looking for our attention. And within those hundreds of people stands one small boy, five or six years old, almost barely naked. And I'm asking, who is this boy? And they're saying, we don't know. Somebody brought him in, said that he is an orphan, that his entire family died, and nobody is taking care of him because there, there was no adult over there. I was, I was then a father of a young uh, girl, one and, a half, one and a half years old. And when I saw this boy, my heart went to him because I've seen my little girl in this, in this uh, boy's eyes. And as a Magen David Adom personnel, I couldn't stand aside thinking that there is nobody there for him. So as a Magen David Adom person, as an Israeli, as a Jew, I just went to him, picked, it, picked him up in my arms, carried him into our, uh, in, uh, in, uh, to our, uh, the place that we worked in. And for the next two weeks, all I did, besides taking care of others, is making sure that he is fed three times a day, that we got close to him that he has a designated bed in one of the, the Red Cross uh, uh, tents. And I was pushing so hard because I said, we will be leaving in a month or two months. What would happen to, to this boy, Tijo? The name is Tijo. And 10 days after I first met him, I was able to get him to an orphanage. And not just an orphanage, like a UN orphanage, something that is, you know, that uh, uh, brings him a future. And you, you know how you cry when you have your babies born, right? I cried three times in, in uh, my life, which I, can, uh, which I can proudly say that I cried. This was the first time. When Tijo was sent to the, to the orphanage, I said, I brought a ray of, of light to this boy's life. And when you ask me, Uri, why did you do this for this boy? I'm saying this because this is the spirit of Magen David Adom in Israel. We were established 92 years ago in 1930. Our DNA, the, the organization DNA, is embedded into the state of Israel. We were there for the Haganah medics. We were there during the entire uh, wars. We were there in Yom Kippur War, in Lebanon War, during terror times. And although we are mandated by the government to be the National Ambulance Service, to be the National Blood Services, we take the care for the entire blood of, for the state, and for being the Israeli uh, uh, Red Cross, the fact that we have the mandate, but we are non-governmental organization, it's Israel, you know, we have strange, uh, strange uh, solutions. So we are mandated, but we are not a non-governmental organization. And the fact that we are an apolitical organization gives us one of our biggest strengths. And this is the diversity of the men and women that serve in Magen David Adum. When I look at you at this congregation, it reminds me of the people of Magen David Adum. Everyone are welcomed in. It doesn't matter whether you are a Jew, an Arab, whether your parents are, or ancestors are Ashkenazim, Sephardim, whether they came from Poland, Morocco, or Ethiopia. Once you believe in life saving in the state of Israel, you have a place. And this is how we save life in the people of Israel. 
having everyone in, assisting everyone impartially without considering what, what are, how you define yourself as a Jew, as a Palestinian, as an Israeli, as a tourist. If you are in need, Magen David Adom is there for you, exactly like I was there for Tijo, the Haitian, the Haitian uh, girl. And we use the best equipment there is. The best equipment because the best people in the world deserve the best equipment. Um, and there is a, a very, a very uh, um, meaningful bond between G the Jewish community in the world and Magen David Adom because the entire equipment for Magen David Adom is donated by communities from around uh, the world. 120 ambulances each year to serve the people of Israel and to allow our 30,000 volunteers, 30,000 volunteers to leave their businesses, to leave their families, to leave their uh, daily chores and go and, and, and assist uh, others. And the technology that we, that we implemented also incorporates the Jewish spirit of Arvut Hadadit and helping others, the Israeli mind of being a startup nation, and the spirit of Magen David Adom, because the one that actually write the code, those one that actually uh, develop our softwares, you know who are they? Ultra-Orthodox women. This is what they do. They sit and they write the code to help others without knowing who they are going to help. But this is Magen David Adom's spirit. And when, at the, at the end of the day, this all comes into a whole solution, into a, 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 whole, a whole spirit. So yes, we are the National Ambulance Services, we are the National Blood Services, and we are the Israeli Red Cross. We've been to Turkey, we've been to Ukraine, we've been to Haiti, all around. Wherever somebody is in need, the compassion of Magen David Dadon people is there, there for him. So when people support Magen David Adom, they support life saving in the state of Israel, but they support something much larger than this. They support the basic values that we believe in as Jews that we form the state of Israel uh, in. So thank you so much for having me today. It really is a pleasure seeing all of you and this great atmosphere that we have here. Thank you so much. And I'll be around if anybody has some more questions. Thank, thank you. And uh, Uri Shacham will be around after services for those of you who want to ask questions. And uh, obviously, also, Magain David Adom is available online. And now I encourage you not only to find out about it, but also to support it and to make contributions. We do have ambulances from Magain David Adom that have Sinai Temple's name on them, but not enough. We should have more. So. Please go online. We, we, we continue now with the Musaf service, page 184. Please rise.